Ladies and gentlemen, the ping heat map allows you to see the best servers for your favorite games and more. Let's hop right into it. So if we log into Duma OS 4 on the net Duma R3 and we head over to the ping heat map section, we're greeted with a map of the world that we can scroll in and out of. And in the top left hand corner of the map, there is a choose a game drop down menu. If we give that menu a click, we are greeted with some of the most popular games currently being played, such as Apex Legends, Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, Destiny 2, and many more. If your favorite game isn't on this list, that's okay. I'll show you how to use a couple of different games that are on this list to get a general idea of what your base ping may be for those games in those locations. Moving on. We head on over to the right hand panel, the top right hand corner of the right hand panel. There is a change button. If we give that a click, it opens up the exact same game menu as from before. If we back out of that, right below that is ping schedules. This is incredibly underutilized and I implore you to use it. It's very important. I'll show you why momentarily. Below that is one last way to choose games. So let's go ahead and finally do so. We click choose game, it's gonna open that list. Let's choose Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This is going to ping every Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 server from my location. So I am in the USA, more specifically Colorado, USA. So let's scoot into the US part of the map. For those unfamiliar, Colorado is where my mouse currently is. The closest server to me is right next to me over here in Utah. However, if we take a look at the game servers list, we can actually see my best server is Illinois. Illinois is way over here. So here I am in Colorado. Illinois is over here. And that is actually reflected inside of this tab. So if we give the, my best server tab a click, we now get information about that server. So it's for Modern Warfare 3, it's in Illinois, the exact place is unknown. It's 1200 miles away. Generally speaking, we want closer servers. 1200 miles is quite far. Keep that as close as possible. However, depending on the developer and how they decided to do routing in game, some servers may have better ping than others and be further away. This is going to be a game to game thing. This is why you use the ping heat map and schedules together to figure out what are the best servers for that particular game and what time of day they're at their best. An example of this is actually this Illinois server I'm currently on. Yes, through years of playing, I found that this is my best server set. However, throughout the day, later in the evening mostly as people get off of work and more people tend to get on this set of servers in illinois plays a little bit worse and that is reflected in the schedule which i'll show you in a minute and on the map itself so keep an eye at certain times a day as people get on and off some servers may react badly to that all right we scoop back a panel back to the main list of servers we know illinois is 1200 miles away, it's my best server, but I also just said throughout the day, it may not be so good. Now you'll also see we've got the Utah server, the Washington server, and a Georgia server. Let's actually take a look at the Georgia server. It's 55 milliseconds, it's really far away. It's 1600 miles. So yes, that's incredibly far away, but we're looking at the ping and stability. Stability is incredibly important. The higher the stability of the server, the better it's gonna be. And you can see it's in the high 90s. So even though it's really far away, it's gonna play really well for me. These are all things you need to be paying attention to throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. So how do you actually look at all of those things? How do I know what's going on from moment to moment with these servers? Well, for that, you use ping schedules and clicking on the ping schedules tab you can see i have call of duty modern warfare 3 already scheduled it's going to ping in three minutes but to add a new game to this list is pretty easy you click the add new button in the top right hand corner it's 
gonna bring up a, the same menu of games as from before. We're gonna choose a game. So let's just choose Dota 2. I do not play Dota 2, this is just for example. Then how often do we want this to ping? Every 30 minutes, every hour, two, four, six, 12, daily or weekly. I like to do every hour and then leave the rest of that alone. But which days I like to do it Monday through Sunday. So seven days a week on that every hour. Click save and then on the next hour, which is two minutes away because it's 9.58 a.m. in the morning. So in the next two minutes, both of these things will ping once again. Again, I don't play Dota and it's easy to remove one of these things from the list. So we'll give that a click. And then at the very bottom, we can remove schedule. All right, so backing off, we've got a game scheduled in. It's gonna ping Call of Duty in the next minute. If we back out a menu and then we look at the very bottom of our map, we have this edit schedule and this little uh, bar here hour, day, week, month. Now, I like to let things ping for about a week, look through the schedule over that week and at the end of that week and just get a good idea of, okay, how is that game performing throughout a week? All right, I happen to know these servers are great in the morning, these uh, servers are better in the evening, afternoon, etc. And then I set up my geo filter accordingly. But to see those things, we're gonna take a look at our and so our latest ping in the last hour, we have 42 milliseconds, 52 milliseconds this is our current ping right now to all of the servers in the US. But because I do have scheduled for Modern Warfare 3, I can take this slider and go back a bit. And if I do, you can see there's some, some variation. Not much, you can see like uh, this New York server was sitting at 103 and I moved it. Oh, now it's sitting at 95, so it's a little better. California, I think adjusted too, maybe. Yes, from 77 to 86. So if we go 10 minutes behind, all right, now 15, 20, 25, 30, you know, and et cetera, you can keep going back and take a look at the history. So, okay, we know Illinois seems to be starting way back in an hour ago. Illinois is still the best, followed by Washington, Georgia. Then 55 minutes ago, it went from Illinois, what was it, Illinois, Utah, to Illinois, Utah, Washington, Georgia, still, still the same. So this will give you a really good idea of things are fluctuating from hour to hour. What about over the last day? So we click the day tab and we scoot back. That's the last hour, that's the last two hours. And you see the big difference there? You see how Georgia completely changed right there? And Utah just went away. Utah is now a terrible server two hours ago. So keeping an eye on this and coming through and using this schedule bar to see when servers are the best. Illinois stays up top all the time, but I happen to know from playing that it's not so good. So I'm also looking at these other servers too. You want to choose more than one server so that if you can't connect for some reason, it's crowded, it's having a bad day, you have other options. Scheduling, again, is incredibly important. I think I showed you guys why. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything, let me know. Now last, definitely not least, if you play a game that's not on your list, how would you figure out what the ping is for that particular game? Well, we already got an idea of these Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 pings here in the US. Let's use another game. Let's try Dota 2, for example. All right, we can see there's some ping variation. The ping over here in like the uh, far, far away land is doing still okay. Mm, California, not so good. Chicago, which is Illinois, still pretty okay. Texas, aha. Well, if we're looking at the difference between Texas Modern Warfare 3, which is 81, or Texas on Dota 2, which is 52, Hey, maybe I actually want to try Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 in Texas. Maybe it's, you know, actually just a weird false positive or something, something going on there. This is why I recommend trying different things here. You can get a good idea of where ping is going to be at for multiple places and multiple games. But also, the very last tip, when you first start playing any game, my recommendation is not to use the geo filter filtering let the game do what it was built to do and see what servers it puts you into 
You can do this very easily by using the Duma OS app on Android or iOS, or you can just log into Duma OS on your favorite web browser on your phone. Pull up the geo filter page, set it next to you, and just while you're playing, not only get a feel for the game and that server, you can see what the server is, you can say, okay, I'm playing on the Illinois server, um, Modern Warfare 3, how is it playing right now? I'm having a good time, it's great, it's you know, 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever, I'm having a good time. Then later in the evening, you're like, oh, it's not doing so good. You can check your scheduling, you can check your ping heat map and notice, oh, it isn't doing so good. Let's move on from this server to something better. And again, checking each individual game to just get an idea of everything, setting up these schedules, very important. Keeping an eye on stuff for a week or two or after a really big update from a game. So Call of Duty does a season update. You might want to come back and check your schedules, check if they moved anything around server-wise, etc. All right, everybody. This video was helpful. You know what to do. And until the next time, as always, take it easy.